Amanda here with your June 2018 rune scope. This month in conjunction with the runes, I will be using the Wonderland Tarot by Chris and Morgana Abbey. Then as always, be sure to join me over on my Vimeo channel for part two of your June reading. I will be pulling and interpreting one card from the Goddess Guidance Oracles by Doreen Virtue. And uh, that link is below. Also, I wanted to remind everybody that uh, because we're halfway through the year now, it's a good time to go back and rewatch the 2018 RuneScope I posted in January here on YouTube. The link will be here with the eye and I'll post it at the end of the video too. But also if you purchased my career RuneScope or my love RuneScope for 2018 over on Vimeo, it's a good time to rewatch those as well. If you didn't uh, purchase those yet, you may wanna check that out. It gives you a longer term view. Um, it does cover the whole year, so. Yeah, it's just a good idea to rewatch and kind of see where you're at with that. Um, what's yet to come. It can give you some really nice foresight for the rest of the year. But let's jump in and turn our focus to June for Taurus. You see what's going on with Taurus. June 2018. As always, Taurus, keep in mind that these are not private readings. I'm not just connecting with your personal energy. I'm connecting with hundreds, sometimes thousands of people. So um, some messages will be for them, some will be for you. Just take what you can use and leave the rest. Uh, you can always check out the video for your rising sign as well. And in fact, you would be wise too. Sometimes all of your messages will come through that video instead of your sun sign video. Um, if you would like more specific information, the only way I can connect with just your energy and let you know what these are talking about specifically and who the people are and all of that stuff and what the outcomes are going to be is in a private session. I do those on Skype. They are $70. Just drop me a line at runescopes for you at gmail.com and we will get your appointment set up and we can take a look at your specific circumstances and situation. Challenge or focus in June. We've got the Ace of Hats in reverse. So this is the Ace of Cups in other decks. Let's see what, what's coming up here. Well, many of you are wanting a new romantic beginning or um, a second chance or someone wants that with you. Again, with somebody watching, for some of you, it's going to be you wanting a second chance or someone else. You may be apologizing or uh, you may be waiting on an apology and you may feel like it's never going to come. For some of you, that may be. Um, now, this could be from somebody that you're no longer involved with. It could also be from, you know, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a spouse, somebody that messed up or disappointed you or had you really emotionally upset because the Ace of Cups in reverse is, you know, yeah, the cup spilling over, you know, everything's just pouring out. Um, so this could be something that happens in June, but, uh, you know, it feels it feels for some of you, it feels old. And, um, you know, well, it's been this long. I'm never going to get an apology for that. Or, <laughs> And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be, you know, anybody that you care about or, or love, a family member, a child, a friend. But um, someone disappointed you in a way that you never thought that they would with the blank room next to this. It really, And it maybe even really kind of changed your life, changed your perspective, changed your mind about someone or who who someone was or is. Hmm. Now, some of you are just, maybe you've been single a while and you're like, man, when am I ever gonna meet somebody who I, you know, I can be with or start a new relationship with? Um, is that ever gonna happen? Some of you may be feeling in June or it, it may be energy that weaves in and out. These challenges, because this is emotion, I mean, it could just be a feeling that creeps up on you around the full moon or something. You've got the moon card here. So whenever I've got the moon card uh, in a reading, it can sort of be like, um, you know, things are developing around the new moon or the full moon. So I would check those dates of when those are in June, uh, either with your favorite astrologer or give it a Google and see what, uh, like when those dates are in June. Um, because you may be feeling particularly on the full moon. This is kind of a full moon kind of emotional, like, oh, you know, it's ever going to love me. Or 
everybody's always going to disappoint me. You may just be feeling a little depressed or down in the dumps, specifically when it comes to relationships or one relationship in particular, Taurus. Um, the seven of hats is here. This is the seven of cups in uh, other decks and this is in your present energy so for some of you this will be whenever you're watching this video the present what's going on right now um others of you it'll be the end of may early june as we move into the next month and um this is a card of fantasy and dreams so you may be dreaming about or fantasizing about your dream lover or your dream person or reuniting with this person um getting back together they they come you know in your dream or your, or your fantasy they uh they they come there with flowers and a, i don't know gifts and apologize for everything say how they were so wrong and you're so wonderful and you know it could just be your thinking fantasizing about that and what that would be like um or you're just thinking, dreaming, fantasizing about your dream partner or a celebrity or a crush or uh, maybe for some of you, this is a crush. This is somebody that you have been admiring from afar and maybe they are with someone else or they've been in a relationship or they got married. Um, uh, I'm feeling like for some, some of you out there, this could be an old like high school or college relationship and maybe you reconnected on social media but they were married you were married or somebody's unavailable and it just brought up a lot of old memories and you've been kind of like thinking back on that or or fantasizing about this person um for those of you in a long distance relationship it could be that that's what kind of brought this to an end like it was too difficult with the distance or one of you was you know you were talking about like you know maybe them moving there but then they couldn't do it and they told you you know i'm not going to be able to do this and and um or you know you were thinking about moving there but then you can't because of work or kids or or what have you um so maybe that's what happened. You know, it was long distance, but it was too hard. And it was just, you know, you, maybe you felt like you were the one always having to be the one to put in the work or do the traveling or the other person's telling you like, you know, Taurus, you never come see me. I've always had to be the one to come see you and I just can't do it anymore. It can always work both ways in these general readings. But so yeah, maybe that, maybe it was the distance that uh, you decided to just call it quits. But the good news is the help that's coming in is the death card. So, and Munio is next to this and everybody's like, oh God, how can death be a good card? How, how can that be helpful? Because uh, a situation that you want to die and end is ending with Munio and you're so overjoyed and happy about it. So something is ending that is going to benefit you, not only benefit you or help you, but bring you extreme joy. So these feelings, again, could be old and they're just kind of like coming up or they're being healed in June because like this person that was married, they get it, they're, that relationship is dying. It's ending and you're, you know, oh, we can finally be together. This person who you never thought was going to move, maybe you broke up because it was long distance and now they're going to move. Or maybe the reason that you had to stay where you are is no longer a factor. That's dying. Maybe it was a job and that's ending. So you're like, well, I'll just, you know, I've got to quit my job anyway. I'm losing my job anyway. i got to find a new one. So I might as well look where my honey is. Or So there's something dying and, and the, the death of it is a positive for you. And I don't feel it's a person. I'm not saying like you should ever be happy that someone is dead or dying. And I, I'm not feeling that this is a death. Um, you know, usually I have other runes or, or, or cards that would signify that to me. And I, I'm not feeling that. Um, we do have three major arcana in your reading here, Taurus for June. So it's a big month and it's been, a, we've had a lot of major arcana for other signs too. Uh, June, a lot is happening. It's a big month. It seems a lot of shifts or changes. So if the first half of the year has been kind of a drag and not a lot going on, uh, as far as positive momentum or things that you wanted to happen, it does seem like we're starting a phase now where that's going to shift and change. The old phase is dying, right? And we're 
moving into a far more positive phase. But yeah, there's something is transforming and you're so overjoyed that it is transforming. Um, so yeah, and if you're just, if it's just like I've been single for so long, well, that is dying. That state, your status, your single status is done. Um, maybe you've been, uh, you know, in a marriage and, and somebody just hasn't been there for you either. Maybe they're gone all the time and they're, you know, they're always like, um, maybe it's like you've been together, but not really together. Like they've sort of like abandoned the relationship, abandoned you, cheated or, or, um, they're just gone a lot. Maybe they even live somewhere else half of the year. And you're like, you know, I'm going to put an end to that. We're going to end this relationship. because of somebody else I want to be with. Um, the Wunyo, the, the Rune of Joy, also talks about spending a lot of time with somebody that you just really enjoy their company. You get along great, you, you have a lot of the same interests, you're very compatible. Um, and it could be a friend if you've just been kind of lonesome. Maybe you had to move somewhere for work and you don't know anybody and that's been why you've been kind of depressed or feeling kind of isolated or cut off, but um, you know, this could just be meeting someone new who's who uh, you really get on with and you, uh, you know, it's nice because you have someone to spend time with and you like to do the same things. Um, this is a very specific message. If you've been looking for a job in uh, a funeral home, a mortuary, um, crime scene investigation, anything dealing with the dead or uh, yeah, even like doing the hair, the makeup, the cosmetics uh, for funerals and things. Um, you could be getting a new job doing that if you've been looking and, and haven't been. Uh, and maybe it's happening because uh, someone is retiring or their status is, is changing here. So, I've never gotten that before. But again, this is... Don't be afraid of the, of the, you know, this is, oh my God, something's dying and, you know, it's something you want to go. Yes, there's a loss usually with this card, but this is a loss that you, you know, I'll take it. Uh, you, you know, you're so excited about the gain, you don't, the loss doesn't matter. Um, what must be accepted about the month of June? You've got the moon card, as I mentioned before. So, like I said, pay attention to the dates of the new moon, the full moon in June. You could find that there are significant things happening um, around those dates regarding what we're talking about. But this is about, um, you know, seeing things, but only like one area at a time. Only one thing is revealed at a time. Because, when you know, you know what it's like when you're in the the moonlight, you, you see what is shining down on, but you can't see everything around it. Just that one area is illuminated or, um, so you could be getting little bits and pieces of information in, uh, June. You're feeling very, very intuitive about people in particular and about situations that you've been patient with. And I kind of feel like even though, you know, some of you may, again, going back to what we were saying before, maybe kind of like, oh God, I've been single for so long. Am I ever going to be in a relationship again? Or, um, or just missing someone that you can't be with for, you know, whatever reason it is for you that you can't be together. I've been so patient with this. You may feel though that it's revealed to you finally in the month of June, how that was beneficial to you, what that, what that journey and what that patience has bought you. Um, so I feel like there's a reward coming in for some of you here in June for your patience, for, you know, dealing with a situation, just kind of withstanding, persevering with a, a certain situation. Um, York is here too. So the rune of um, 
new projects, new beginnings, um, especially with people that you get on with very well, people that you enjoy their company. You may be seeing or spending time with your mother, or if you are a mother, spending time with your kids. Maybe for some of you, maybe this was one of your kids you hadn't seen. They moved away with their family and now they're moving closer or you're able to move closer to them um, or it's a visit uh, or they were with somebody who kind of like, you know, didn't value family in the same way uh, and they kind of like went off to be with that person but now that relationship is ending and they're coming back home as it were, or coming back to you here. So, um, yeah, there's some mystery about June, but I feel like you are picking up on, like you're able to kind of see through the veil, at least the shape or the shadow of what's coming and what's about to be revealed. The outcome you have for June is the lover's card. Um, so, yeah, this is um, a relationship, it's also choices, making a decision, a decision between two things, two lovers, two people. Should I stay? Should I go? Um, but it's also taking a relationship to the next level or finding a relationship, being in a relationship. Um, if you were just dating, maybe now you are going to be exclusive. Or if you, if you have been exclusive, maybe you're going to move in together. Um, there may be proposals. There may be um, solidifying the relationship in some way. Now, for those of you that it's this long distance thing, again, it could be that you're deciding to move in together or that you're able to finally be together. But there is kind of this element of other people kind of being in your business. Like, I, th I feel like... The moon may be saying for some of you, Taurus, that you're the one kind of trying to keep things on the down low. You're not wanting to tell or share. And everybody may be finding you very kind of evasive or uh, about what's going on with this relationship that you're in. Or you may meet someone, but you don't tell anybody. But somehow somebody gets wind of it and like either your family or friends are trying to kind of like find out more about this person. And they're like, who is this? Or, or uh, you know are you really going to move there or are they moving there or, or what's, you know, you're moving in together and you know, they may be kind of thrown for a loop. Maybe they feel you're moving too fast, Taurus, but you know, again, intuition seems to be playing a role in this and uh, you're wanting to live the fantasy, right? You're wanting to get going on fantasy as soon as possible. So yeah, I don't feel like this is a huge negative. It's just people being a nosy, being like, you know, they may have never seen you this happy before Taurus, or they may have never seen you this excited about someone or um, about this relationship. Um, mm, somebody, you may meet somebody at a funeral. I know I said, I don't think this is a death. If it is, it's not, it doesn't feel personal. It doesn't feel like someone really close to you. It could be a, uh, you know, a, a work, uh, associate or, um, you know, someone that you knew a long time ago, but I mean, I, I did want to kind of, you know, that may apply to one person, but still just a message coming through that I wanted to throw out there. But again, with the rune of joy, this is not someone, of course, you're not happy they died, but it's, they may even have a hand in hooking you up with this person. It's like, you know, <laughs> they're on the other side and it's like, oh, they're looking down at my funeral. It's like, oh, while well, we're here, I'm just going to put these two together. Um, I'm going to make sure they bump into each other, or, you know, whatnot. So, um, all in all, a pretty great month here, Taurus. I mean, it looks like many of you are meeting a new person who's going to be quite significant in your life um, and starting a new relationship or rekindling one that you've always regretted did not take off or did not turn out the way you wanted and um your fantasy is coming true in some way here in june it may involve a gemini uh for some of you since the lover's card is associated with uh with gemini um and or, or a scorpio that's associated with the 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 death card uh, the moon card i believe is pisces but i also always kind of assign cancer to that because they're ruled by the moon so yeah, you may have a water sign significant or uh, a Gemini 
could be involved in this. So, but I don't have any court cards to really narrow it down to one or the other. So that may apply to only a few of you, but meet me over on Vimeo, as I mentioned before, I'm going to shuffle the goddess guidance Oracle cards. We'll see if we can get more wisdom and guidance or advice on how to handle uh, the, the energies of June for you, Taurus. Uh, don't forget, uh, again, rewatch your 2018 RuneScope here on YouTube and uh, the love and career RuneScopes over on Vimeo. That should tell you more about all of this too. Uh, there's six months left in the year and all those readings cover the whole year. So yeah, it's a good time to rewatch or purchase those if you haven't over on Vimeo. Thanks for watching, Taurus. I'll see you over there and I'll see you back here next time.